What's up my nosy companions, you already know me as the guy who knows everything and welcome back to our community of time. We are on episode 2 and today's episode we are gonna hopefully finish what we, what we were gonna do inside the great Deku tree. And ooh, I hear some suspenseful music. Here is our second enemy we encounter. See what it is. A Deku Baba hit him when he lunges at you and it was stand right upright. Cut it quickly to get a Deku stick. Do do do. And if we don't cut it when it's standing up, we get a Deku Nut. You got a Deku Nut. On a select item subscreen, you can set it to left, down, or right. Set it to C and try throwing it. It will flash and stun the enemy. Interesting. Let's go equip it to where? There. Alright. Here's another Deku Papa. Oh, let me get another Deku Nut. Got ten of them. Oh my gosh, now they quit yelling. Christ's sake. One rupee. Two rupees. Trying to get a Deku stick. Oh, and first. Oh my gosh, what, Navi? Look, look, Benoit. You can see down below this web using up. Alright, cool. Now, now, shut up, Navi. I'm trying to finish this quest. Finish it with you saying, hey, every. Like certain time, be like random time or whatever. Speaking of random time, I don't even have a schedule for uploading videos. I just upload videos randomly, however and whatever I want. Hmm. Look at this wall. The vines growing on it give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb on it, Benoit. I can't because there's these things, and if they see you, they attack you. This is called a skull wall taller. Be careful not to touch it. And, and this, and, and here is the thing we get when, in every dungeon we enter. Yeah, 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 yeah. We found the dungeon map. Press start to get into the subscreen and look at the map subscreen. Blue chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Move, move up and down to select the floor to view. Okay, so we got the map. And every, and every time we get it, there's a map display in the bottom right corner. You can open the door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen. Green icon in the GameCube version. Come on. Here is Deku Scrub. It will hide in the grass if you get closer. Bounce nuts. Nuts. Bounce nuts its pitch back at it. Come back here. Ow, ow, ow. Forgive me, master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a cl high cliff, you hold if you hold the analog stick forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. I can't guarantee it will work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. Hehe. <laughs> well, try it if you are fear. We both. Wahaha. <laughs> so basically, we defeat these. They give up and tells us hints or clues. Okay. Here we will get. Oof! Oh, okay, here we will get another item that we can equip to the. Uh, I forgot. I, f I forgot what it's called. Where you s equip it to the C buttons. Item select sub screen. You found the safe slingshot. Okay, it's select item sub screen. Press C to take it out and hold. As you hold C, you can aim with the analog set. At least you did unleash a Deku scene. If you want to shoot it right away, when you. First press C, hold down and see a little longer to get a seed ready. Alright. Let's see, base the swings are basically like the arrow, because we get the arrow as an adult. Here we get just a recovery heart. Now, now, now you're thinking, oh, oh, that the thing, the thing broke, how am I supposed to get over there? Well, Look, something is hanging up there. It looks like an old ladder. Gives you a hint that you had to shoot it with this. Or you could have just ignored the platform and just, you know, get down here and climb the vines there and then use and use uh, the platform to get back up there. And these are Deku seeds. These are small hard seeds that you can use as bullets for your slingshot. Basically, uh uh you know, bullets for our slingshots, yeah, as it said. Come on. Mm. 
going down, going down, going down. Ouch! Now we can shoot those spiders that was on the wall. Because none of us are that stupid. Hello, and goodbye. Let me just get that stick with that. <laughs> Wait. Can I shoot if I'm up there? There we go. Just another deck of nut. Mm. I've been climbing up the ladder all the goddamn day. Alright. And here you have the big ones, big Scotella. It's so barely such wood point. Three rupees, don't mind if I do. Get back up. Ooh. Okay, now we gotta... There's a timer. Hurry, 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 hurry. Give me a deck of stick. Give me some rupees. Nice. And here, we also get this in every dungeon of the game. You found the compass. Now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. Um... Okay. Now the yellow thing is us, and the red is obviously the exit. Hmm. It seems like as if I never can get a Deku nut from this thing. Oh yeah, we can also use Deku sticks to use. Um, for some reason, Deku stick is as powerful as the Master Sword. For some reason, which I guess isn't bad, it's just weird how stick, how wood is, wood is as powerful as, uh, as, like, a sword, which is metal. Okay. Okay. And another thing. You may notice that that Scotella is not attacking me. That's a gold Scotella. And there's a hundred of them in the game, and no, I will not be getting them all. You already know. Okay, you destroyed a gold Scotella. You got a token proving you destroy. And and it's displayed on the. What is it? Yep, there it is. Oh. Right here. Gold Scotella. No, I will not compl be completing this game 100%. If, if there's a gold skull, you'll. I'll only kill gold gold toes if I feel like if I feel like killing it or if it's just there or if it's like easy to get. Come on. Honestly, I don't have time to deal with you guys. All I have to do is just uh. Oh, I fell right there. Okay, let's try this again. Let me just angle myself properly. Yeah, this looks good. Ouch. Okay, now we made it to the bottom part of the thing. Another gold score, Tella. Ignore that, that is just my sister. My life energy is Here's another gold score, Tella. Annoying, annoying siblings, am I right? Stupid siblings. Now, and the other one was my was my cousin, E, e Man. You guys probably know him. 
Ah. Okay. Oh. Let me just. There we go. That's a second. Go to Gotilla. Uh. Oh yeah, we we need. I should probably put a sign there that I said I'm recording, or best of all, I should have locked my door. But now I lost my deco stick. No matter, I can always get more. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never be my brother's up ahead unless you punish them in a proper order. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do you think I'm a traitor? Basically, yeah. Uh, come on. Okay. Shoot the eye. So that wasn't obvious. Not really. It wasn't that obvious. After you get into the water, if you hold down A, you can dive. I bet there are some interesting things in the water. Yeah. Come on, where is it? There's the button. Come here. Come here, button. Crap. Gotta hurry. <gasps> no, don't leave me. Oh, come on. Wait, I can still... Can I make it back up? No? I can't even climb. I can't even climb it. Dang it. I didn't mean to jump up. Did I actually make it in time? Wait, I can probably duck. Oh. Okay. Hell yeah, I don't have time. I don't have all day. Looks like I'm ducking under, but... Ooh! You get out of the way! Fuck off! Stand next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push... It or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing the analog stick you told about, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the. Yeah, yeah. Ah. You guys know what the action icon is. The blue thing, the one where it says grab. We gotta get the oh wrong button. Okay, actually halfway there. And here comes some spiders here. I sent spiders. They're called Goma Lava. Look down when it gets ready to pounce. Where do you think they're going? I feel like there's a third one here. Aha! Knew it. Destroy it before it comes out and destroys me. Ahaha! <laughs> Perfect shot. Can't go in there. Oh. Wait, there's fire here somewhere. No. Oh. Sorry if you're hearing that song. So obsessed with 
that music. Oh, oh, I got lost again. I never get seem to get the Deku stick out. Well, at least just this guy. It has to make a lunge at you. Okay. What? Oh. I actually almost dead to the boss. I actually saved my, my Deku stick. Oh, it looks like I didn't have to swim under one and get them. Okay. But just like he said, 2, 3, 1, 23 is number 1. Ouch. 2. Three. One. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Gom to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Gom, my strike with your sword while she's done. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Yeah, she's definitely gonna kill you for that. Well, well, not anymore, because I'm gonna be the one to kill you. Huh. Here we encounter the first boss. <laughs> oh, so dark, so scary. This place is weird. It's like the Deku Tree ate a giant spider. Oh! And it just locks us out. Oh, and we I hear all that scratching, everything's dark here. Let's look up. Uh, oh, there. I see her right there. Oh, apparently if you look at her, you trigger a cutscene where she wars her eyes. She needs climbing, and now the battle begins. Parasitic Armored Arachnid, Goma. Well, hey there, Goma. Nice to meet you. Take this. Okay. Navi. Goma. It's one of the parasitic monsters inside the Deku Its eyes vulnerable, vulnerable when it's red. Come on, bring it on, Goma. So its eyes vulnerable when it's red. Now. Pretty sure we can, like, there we go. I figured out quickly. But apparently, if you, uh. Because apparently, if you jump slash her, like, cancel the Z targeting and crouch and then stab her like that, it deals more damage. That way, you can defeat her quickly. Faster and quicker. And does every every time we defeat a boss, we get a heart piece? I think that's what it's called. Oh no, it's called a heart container. A maximum life energy increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. And here we get these warp points. Yep. For some reason this one's glitched, but eh. Well, it's probably the reason why some people don't exactly play on emulators. Now, story time. Well done, Benoit. Thou has verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Eh, nah. No, Benoit. Thou must know my time is short. Then why give me then why give me the option? Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Crying in the background, huh? I like him. Oh, so this wicked man is Ganondorf. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vial, source of his powers, in the search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. 
For it is that sacred realm that one will find the divine Melek, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirit and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Then, the goddess of power, which she's basically the Triforce of power, Nebu, the goddess of wisdom, also known as the Triforce of wisdom, and Feror, the goddess of courage, which she's the god, the Triforce of courage. They have their own power, Din Fire, Feral's Winds, and uh, Nehru's Love. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and recreated the Red Earth. Nehru. Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. So she created the laws of physics. Then what, Nehru? For war. With her rich soul, produce all life forms who would upload the law. Hmm. So this time she created the humans or something. I mean, I don't think there are any humans in the Zelda universe. Or is there? I'm not sure. Three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. After Gold and Golden Sacred Triangles remain at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the Sacred Triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. And the resting place of the Triangles has become the Sacred Realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sat my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is High War's final hope. Benoit, go now to High Castle. There, though, we'll surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Oh, I wonder who this Princess of Destiny will be. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast a curse on, on me. And thus, we get our first uh, thing every time when we beat, beat the dungeons. As a kid, the amp, the, and they're called spiritual stones. And we need all three of them to turn into an adult. This is the Kokiri Emerald. Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Benoit. Thou art courageous. Navi the fairy, help Benoit to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good bye. He's dead. I mean, we can still go in into him, but there's no point because we already beat the dungeon. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Benoit. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. Cut you, Ganondorf. And now, we're back to Kokiri. Wait for it, and Mido is still blocking our way. Hey, Benoit, what did you do? The great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do such a thing like that? It's all your fault. I, di I didn't do anything. If anyone's to blame, it's Ganondorf. So spoiled. Anyway, well, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. And uh, and my hope was right. We were gonna finish the dungeon. I mean, because it was so easy. So in the next episode, we will be getting out of here and meet the Prince of Destiny. Also known as Zelda. See you there. This is your nosy companion signing off, or nosing off, sorry.